Well, you look for a geriatrician ideally when your physician tells you you need one. Unfortunately, most of the patients that come to us as geriatricians are brought in by their son or their daughter who's noticing that mother or father is not doing quite as well as they used to and they think they need to find somebody else to help out. That's usually too late. You want people to come early when we can make differences and then we want them to be able to go back to their physician and they can look after them and when things change, we can again give a second opinion, a little bit like a cardiologist would do. I really like to see patients around the age of 65 would be ideal because then I can put into place some screening, simple screening tools. We, we look for depression, we look for you know the early signs of memory loss, um, look for risk of falls and for frailty. And when I can start putting in interventions at earlier ages, I find that the patients do much better. When do you come? You come if you're on a lot of medicines. We use a cutoff of nine. It's most probably too many, but the reason for that is virtually all Americans as they get older are more than five medicines. Uh, if you're feeling unhappy and your physician isn't fixing it, if you're noticing that you're not thinking as well, this is the time to come and see a geriatrician. If you're falling a lot, a major time to come see geriatrician. If you're losing weight, come quickly to a geriatrician. As I've said, weight loss is extraordinarily important uh, as a bad prognosticator in older people. All of these can be fixed if we pay attention to them early. People can do a lot to ensure that they will get the right care as they age. Number one, knowing who the specialists in your area are. If there aren't, there are many general practitioners and general health care providers who have a good knowledge base of geriatrics. Maybe we are the ones that train them, or maybe they came from a place where they were able to get some good experience. Number two, knowing one's goals of care are very important because that's the starting place for the conversation. Just think about what is important to you. What are your, your most important things in your life? Then we can just have that conversation of, am I gonna be able to be the person who would meet that need or not?